I used to love coming to this row of cottages when we were on school trips because we used to run like many of the kids in and out of their homes to check out the different fashions and technologies through the decades. And there are still plenty of tight-knit communities throughout Britain that live in terraced houses like this, bustling with noise and life. Inside, in these faithfully dressed houses are clear echoes of family life. This tiny space, the heart and hearth of the home. Meals prepared and shared here. A weekly wash in a tin bath in front of the fire. Lives intertwined. But how did this all play out in a pandemic? When the Spanish flu hit Wales in 1918, did close-knit community life help or hinder its spread? Well, evidence suggests that the Welsh mining towns suffered more than most. In 1918, nobody realised the contagion was viral. There were some social distancing measures in place, but the very fact that lives were so tightly bound accelerated the spread of the epidemic. Yet, what close community life was able to offer was solace and support. If a family lost a father or mother to disease or to an industrial accident, they would be looked after. 